everybody. This is Solomon, pastor of True Journey Church. Just a quick thought. A couple things been on my mind um, lately. Just so many little uh, biblical controversies going on in the body of Christ. Um, and I see this, this tithing controversy has been a huge thing, especially since Creflo Dollar came out and said, um, you know, he's been teaching wrong and he shouldn't have been teaching on tithes, whether he repented or not, that's for debate. But, and of course, if anybody's followed True Journey Church, you follow my videos, you know, I've always taught that the church is not under the law. We, j we don't owe 10%. But it's funny because um, I'm hearing people say that if you, if you teach that we don't have to give tithes, that's leading people astray in the body of Christ. Um, you know, it's apostasy. I think people are taking this a little bit too far. Um, that's not leading people astray. Um, and there's many scriptures to look at this. Um, and I'm not going to go over it again because you could go through my videos. But please, people have to remember, there were three different tithes in the Old Testament. Um, there was the charity tithe, the festival tithe, and there was Levitical tithe. And even there was a tithe of the tithes that the, uh, high, the priest had to pay to the temple. But if you look at this, um, that equal to 23 percent in the Old Testament, 23.3 percent, actually. So um, people have to actually ask themselves, what tithe do we have to pay today in the New Testament? Um, and if we're going to stay faithful to the Old Testament, that means we have to give 23.3 percent of our income. And that's not even including the offerings as well. So I think it's a, a, a lot of misunderstanding. Um, with tithes, we are not under the law anymore. We're under grace giving. Um, you give freely from your heart. If a person wants to give 10% and they give it from their heart, and that's what they choose to do, that's up to them. But we're not under the law anymore. We're op where we are obligated to give 10%. We are none the, our finances cannot be cursed anymore um, because according to Galatians 3, Jesus became a curse for us. So um, just a small little thing that I want to say. Also as well, there's something going on in the body of Christ that I see is pretty sad. You know, God told us that we are to wait um, uh, for marriage um, to have sex, okay? So we know sex outside of marriage is considered fornication, however you want to put it. Um, but as Christians, we are supposed to be, our bodies are supposed to be holy, sanctified unto the Lord. And it is sad right now that what we're seeing today, we have pastors that are promoters of lust. Um, and I'm going to do a full video on this, but this is what we have. We have pastors that are promoting sexual lust. They are promoting lustful movies. They are making lustful movies. They're making lustful videos. Um, and it is sad that we, what's happening where you have Christians who are already struggling with sexual sin. And then you have pastors that are really encouraging it and are promoting it. Um, and we have to watch these things. These are the last days. This is the deception of the enemy. And so you, you have these popular bishops, you have these popular gospel artists who are now promoting lust in their shows and in their movies. And the body of Christ is very silent, very silent on these things. Um, but yet when it came to tithes, man, we were making lots of noise because, of course, that affects many people's uh, income or money. But I just want to encourage us that we need to stand for the truth. Um, and we need to uh, stand against lust and sexual sin and Christians shouldn't be making sexual movies or lustful movies that encourage lust. So just a few things I wanted to stress. Thank you for listening to me. See you later.